All right, guys. So I'm going to roll over into my square for this week. It's Gerald Everett. You know, we haven't shared enough tight end love on this show. And, you know, there's there's one this week that I just really want to make sure I ended up on zero benches. So that's why I'm going with Gerald Everett. Uh, Gerald Everett, he does tuck right inside the top 12 at his position for this week, a tight end nine in consensus. But I'm going to move that line to top eight for our where we keep our little score because I'm this confident in Gerald Everett this week. Manners might be worried about Gerald Everett after two really disappointing weeks back to back. And I can understand why he started so strong. Like my preseason worries were that Donald Parham would still pivotal red zone targets and Parham was back and involved last week. Additionally, Everett was noted on Wednesday as questionable with an illness. So people might've been seeing that and going and trying to make sure they got a tight end on their way for wire. The good news is Everett was a full participant today at Thursday's practice and Parham's likely going to miss this week with a concussion. And I cannot think of a more smash start scenario. The rule of thumb this season is whenever a tight end plays against Seattle, you absolutely have to start them. Seattle is the most points against them in tight division by a wide margin, almost 40 points against they almost 40 points more than the second worst team against tight ends. They have over a, a lot over a hundred points at the times this season. Next is around 65. So, you know, if this, even, even if you take out where Taysom Hill, you're like, he's not really tight end. He had a 35 point week, you know, TJ Hawkinson had that crazy outlier game. We had 35. You replace those two weeks with two median uh, performances for tight ends. Seattle still bottom eight against tight ends. And that's even if you just put in a median, which they've been so bad, you would expect more than that. So with Andrews looking likely to miss this week, the only tight end I'm starting over Jared Everett this week with confidence is Travis to Kelsey. They designed their defense around Adams and Adams got hurt immediately. For one, they haven't had a pass rush all year. And the only time that Justin or yeah, Justin Herbert struggles is, is against a really good pass rush. I expect Justin Herbert to cur- to carve them up all week, or I'm saying all game, excuse me, this week. And I think that Everett gets a fair share of those targets and maybe even a touchdown or two. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm happy. I have him in a few lineups, so I'm looking forward to next week.